Animal rights activists were before the Oireachtas Agriculture Committee today explaining why they are opposed to greyhound racing and coursing. Greyhound racing and coursing is inherently cruel, resulting in the premature deaths of thousands of greyhounds annually. While in the region of 5,000 hares annually suffer terror and stress by being snatched from the wild, kept captive and used as live lures for greyhounds at coursing matches. England, Scotland, Wales and our near neighbours Northern Ireland have banned hare coursing, leaving our republic as the last outpost for this barbarism. That's Aideen Urell, campaign director with the Irish Council Against Blood Sports, addressing the Oireachtas Agriculture Committee this evening. Her staunch opposition to the sports was echoed by Una Jansen of the Greyhound Rescue Association of Ireland, who says there is no accurate register of greyhounds in this country. Greyhounds can be sold abroad, retired for breeding, they can die of natural causes, be abandoned or destroyed illegally or legally, and the data is never recorded. It's unacceptable in this day and age that registered racing greyhounds go missing. A system already exists for cattle in this country, whereby every head of livestock is accounted for, so we know it can be done. Until a system for accounting for every registered greyhound is put in place, we cannot seriously say that we have any true concern for greyhound welfare in Ireland. The Irish Greyhound Board and the greyhound industry has received a total of 99.6 million euros from the public purse since 2010. That is almost 100 million euros for an organisation which is unable to accurately state the number of dogs involved in the industry. Sinn Féin Senator Padre McLaughlin questioned the animal rights activists about what would be acceptable to them. If we have uh, practices that are at a level that are humane, uh, you know, uh, in terms of the, the animals, so I just want to tease through, I mean, is there a, is there a happy medium or, or is, is it your view that Greyhound racing should just be banned in Ireland, uh, you know, or, or, or is there is there things that you would ask us to insert in this legislation that would address the concerns uh, and many of which you know I, I, I think any decent person would agree with. Here's Aiden Urell again. There's nothing we object to about dogs racing around the track. It's what goes on behind the scenes that we are concerned about, and I explained to you about the blooding. Uh, blooding greyhounds with small animals, that's going to go on uh, and it's not, and you're never going to stamp it out and um, it, it, they believe they have to do this to keep a dog keen for the track and it's kept very well hidden. I mean, I, I don't know if you saw the, um, the Australian example on oh. prime time, very distressing. Uh, but this, and they went there as a matter of course to do that to this particular track. They they had a little piglet. They strapped it to, to the to the lure, moving lure, and they let the dog savage it. And that was quite normal for them to do that. It's quite no normal here as well, and it's. It's going to go on whether greyhound racing is okay, like it's grand dogs running around, but how they're trained is a problem. And how you're going to stamp th that out uh, in any bill, I don't know how. It can't be. You can't enforce it because you can't see them doing it. Nicola Matthews of the Irish Council Against Blood Sports is another staunch objector. Well, I think that the industry on a whole, on a global scale, has gone too far to be saved. When you're talking about animals, in the same realm as entertainment and used as profit, cruelty go hand in hand. And that's just the way that the industry is. We're looking at the UK, the tracks are falling like dominoes there. Tracks here that we have, you know, that, that have always been kind of a stable point of our own greyhound racing industry here in Ireland, like Harold's Cross, are now having to admit defeat and shut their doors, which was something that was never foreseen down, down the line. But Fianna Fáil TD Jackie Cahill and Labour TD Willie Penrose were eager to offer the counter-argument. So I think this myth that, you know, that doping is widespread within our industry, I think, you know, I think that has to be put to bed firmly and the figures are there to show that that is not the case. And, you know, the other myth that, you know, dogs are not looked after, and you will always have exceptions in an industry as widespread as this where uh, a, a, a small minority of owners won't look after the welfare of the greyhounds. But in the vast majority of cases, dogs are extremely well looked after and extremely well minded. I, I noticed that Irish Council Against Blood Sports basically says that the industry is close to being irredeemable, particularly at an international level, not just a national level. And it's beyond the point of rescue, and the only way forward is to effectively ban it outright. That's what I take from their submission. 
Uh, but I think it's a, it's, it's a dangerous precedent to tar everybody with the same brush uh, in the greyhound industries and, and people who are owners and everybody else. A lot of them uh, do, do look after their animals with great care and I think it's important that that should be distinguished. Una Jansen had this to say in response. I agree with you. There are some greyhound owners and trainers who treat, treat their dogs really, really well and I'm not going to deny that. However, we do have a huge issue of dogs disappearing and until we have this traceability, in, traceability system in place, we can't accurately say that welfare is good. I don't dispute the fact that there are people who are good greyhound owners, but we, we do know that there are people who are getting rid of their dogs, who are shooting their dogs, who are using bolt guns, who are selling their dogs to countries where there aren't adequate welfare legislations in place to deal with those dogs and we need to stamp out these practices in greyhound racing.